Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm sorry you can see me in the mirror behind me, but this is the best lighting, so you're going to have to cope with seeing two of me. Maybe I could just do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, so today, I am going to be doing a day in the life with you. So, I'm not actually doing one where I go to work and things like that. It's just like me day off today. So, I thought, why not? So, I am meeting up with an old work friend. Well, I say old work friend. She's obviously still my friend, but she used to work with me. And that's how we become friends. Um, she's called Rachel and she's lovely. She also has a YouTube channel, so I'll tag it below. She's an amazing singer, so you need to go over to her channel ASAP. Um, so I'm going to meet her for a coffee. And we're also going to go to Next Home and TK Mac, which is going to be a different video for you to watch because obviously now when you're in shop you need to wear a mask so obviously we'll be wearing one so it might be hard to hear me i just don't know yet so we will shall see about that but i'm really excited so i'm gonna be going shopping with you and then i'm also getting a tire fix today adult props and going to ikea later so it is a really long busy day i've also got a to-do list the size of my arm which I need to get through. I say it's my day off today so this is the only time I get to get organised. I also need to make my bed so I will do that now with you. I don't know people always ask me as well what I've got on my bed, where I've got it from and stuff over on my Instagram. So if you are new to knowing Fenland Interiors and you don't know where anything's from it'll be easy enough for me to do it on here and tag them. <laughs> I am a sucker for a room spray. I think they're amazing. And I'm currently using this gorgeous one from Heaven Scent that was kindly gifted to me. It is Pomegranate Noir. I think you say it like that. I'm like the worst pronouncer of like fancy schmancy names of brands. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's the Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir and it smells insane. Um, I do actually have a discount code for Heaven Scent, um, which I will leave in the bio underneath. But this is 100% one of my favourite things. I have like, I do have a lot of room sprays. I even have the White Company room spray. But this is so gorgeous. So I'm going to spray it on bed now. <laughs> So first off, my bedding is from the White Company. I love it to pieces, but it's the worst to get creased. Um, I do need to buy a handheld steamer, to be honest with you. When I do take pictures and videos, they're all out. But it's the most comfiest bedding I've ever owned. Um, it's literally like hotel bedding. It's amazing. So I'd always recommend the White Company. It's just fab. My cushion, oh, obviously you get those in with your quilt covers from the White Company. The ones at the back are actually from Aldi. And the quality of them is amazing. I think they were £6 for the pair. Oh, that looks a bit goofy. I hate that. Um, yeah. Why is that like that? That annoys me. Um, yeah, so they were £6 for the pair. I got these gorgeous palm cushions about three years ago from where? Well, from Home Sense. Um, and the fab, everyone always asks me where I get them from and whether there's any more. I literally haven't seen them since three years ago but if there is any i will put them on my instagram because i know everyone is dying to get a pair um this is also a marble cushion from home sense to be fair i have seen that a few times since i bought that three years ago with the palm cushions the throw again is from home sense <laughs> obviously i work there so i've literally lived there and spent all my wages there um yeah so that's from home sense again i got that about three years ago and i love it to pieces it's gorgeous i love the way they've got palms on the end so obviously match my cushions i know these are more of a white fair but they still look really gorge and my throw is actually from home and bargain it's only cheap and to be honest with you, I've seen a gorgeous one for about 200, 300-ish pounds, <laughs> I know, in the white company, um, which I really, really want. So I literally got that as a, like a temporary thing, but 
I'm actually in love with it. And my headboard, um, my dad actually made, so we got fabric, Liverpool Fabric Company, and he made it for me. So it's basically just board, a board on the back with like fluff inside, and then that over it. So yeah, that's basically a quick synopsis. I will do an actual bedroom video for you. If you do want to see that, let me know um, in the comments. Because I'll be more than happy to do like a little bedroom tour. Like you know where everything's from. Because obviously I've got my little side table which everyone is obsessed with. And I'll let you know where all the accessories are from. So yeah, um, I need to get ready and start making my way out. So, oh my god, why is the tap there? I just need to finish tidying my room. Like that is embarrassing. So I need to start getting ready because I am literally cutting it fine for time. Why do I always do this? Like... I need to get ready. So um, I finally met Rachel. So, so this is not good vibes. I'm just about to get one over. So yeah, amazing. Let me get my I've just come to the next home wearing my mask with Rachel. <laughs> um, and this mask life is definitely not for me. Um, yeah, I've been wearing one, but I'm just not a fan. But anyway, found some lovely bits. <laughs> Did you hear that person coughing in the background? <laughs> I'm gonna run a mile. <laughs> First things first, Rachel has located the diffuser. Oh god. Oh god, it's all getting off. <laughs> it's all getting off. <laughs> it's not it's not me. Right, what what diffuser are you getting, Rachel? Getting Tell the country, folks at home. Country tablet. Um <laughs> Ju McGrath has one in the utility oh, room and it's oh, amazing. So uh, what does it smell of? Give give us some essence of A country that cabin. No, <laughs> <laughs> it just smells like like burning wood and like um like a musky scent. Yes. I feel like I'm really soon. <laughs> so there is other plentiful diffusers other than the country cabin vibe. <laughs> um, but they all look amazing and you can obviously smell some down there. But we can't walk any further because somebody is intruding my space. <laughs> so they've got gorgeous displays at the moment. They're a bit bare. I'm not sure. I don't know whether that's just because of what's going on or whether they're just not feeling the vibe or whether the merchandisers aren't bothers about them i'm not sure but here they are so i'm presuming this is like the gray white vibe it might have just been shopped over the weekend um because it is monday today so i'm not going to judge um but i absolutely love all the accessories i absolutely love this that is fabulous loving this sort of vibe the monochrome and i need this this holds your glasses the only time i lose my glasses i need him in my life so absolutely gorge love them chest people how much are they <gasps> Oh, I might have to buy one of them. I might buy two, actually. I'm obsessed with them. Need them. Them frames are gorgeous. Very similar to what I've got, but with a chain. That leaf's fab as well. Sorry, I'm just like, I love them cushions as well. They're gorge. Oh, frames. Frame. <gasps> have you got my one? <gasps> oh my God, I might need to go to TK Maxx. Have you got my frame? No. No, they haven't. How disappointing and furious. So next isn't even that big and I've just lost Rachel. She found me though. But I found you. <laughs> um, so we're looking in the kitchen department at the moment because Rachel has house prospects. Me, <laughs> <laughs> me however, I don't have house prospects. Sure. Ain't nobody got time or funds for that right now. <laughs> so yes, I can see Rachel raising the lovely family on this current dining table. <laughs> <laughs> Anything nice, Rach? Anything new in? I love these mugs, mate. Let's see. Them ones. No, them. Oh, yeah, the stack of mugs. My cousin's got them, they're lovely. Oh, really? And they don't all fit. Crap Tell me size, more, Rachel. Rachel. They fit a great size brew in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I also like them as well. They're quite cute, aren't they? They are very cute. Little. They coasters? Yeah. <gasps> in an elephant? I know. Oh, I love them. I, I love this one. Love that sign. Oh, you meant that for me, didn't you? I know that. Yeah. Oh, he's cute too. Oh, Rach, look at this guy. Look at our Rach in the background. Adorable. <laughs> I feel like this is like a girl's school trip out rather than me <laughs> giving interior advice. <laughs> this vlog has gone to bits already. It's just fun, isn't it? Metal straws, do you know what? I actually need them oh, for a night out. Oh, rose gold metal straws as well. No, I know, because absolutely not sharing straws with people on a night out with all this going on. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh, 
the coaster thing and a chopping board. Wow, yeah. they've got the full gang here. Oh, and I love that. They are stunning. Could you imagine them? I don't know whether for anyone who does follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you need to. We got um, chairs in with this wicker style um, sides in, and they would look stunning against it. I can imagine it in like coral or orange or teal room. They would look stunning. Um, or even like, obviously, if you're like a beige person, but I really need these. <laughs> It smells like tequila and I can't, I can't cope I'm at Uret. So we're in Costa and you've got to wear a mask. I'm only getting a drink, but I mean, are you getting something to eat? Because how am I supposed to eat with my mask on? Yeah. Am oh, I just have to be like a mop when we're sat down? Okay, I mean, yes, look at all the people here. They've got all the mop. Oh, yes. What are you getting? I don't know yet. Nice. Oh, that's a bit fuzzy. I think I've got hand sanitizer on it. two of in my way. I'm sorry, just mind me getting run over. Um, so I'm on the hunt for it now. So I've just looked and they don't have my frame. I'm fuming. Um, but yeah, these are gorgeous though. I love them. And I love all these signs as well. I think they're really fab. All cute notebooks in. I feel like we have more in our way at the moment though than um, they've got in here. Um, which is a bit annoying um, but it's cute I have a magazine holder I'm a big fan of that oh what's this a balloon kit oh, maybe if I want to hit 10k I might buy something like that I'm a fan um, and on the back wall all the cushions but this TK Maxx is by the one the home since I work in so they've kind of shrunk the home department so you don't really get as much as you do in our way because there's sort of no need when you've got a home sense right next door but i'm so <gasps> there's them tables as well do you know whether anyone's seen them on my story on my instagram probably keep talking about my instagram but i nearly have 10k so please do follow me um but these are gorgeous a girl actually bought them in york because she's seen them on my story and ran to one of the home sense and bought them but i think they're gorgeous but yeah, there's some fabulous bits in. Oh, I love him, he's cute. I love that. Oh, and I love this little, these little tea lights in that as well. That's gorgeous. Oh, and there's a ghost. Oh, yeah. This ghost is the only ghost you'll ever see. <laughs> We've been trying to name it and have him work. So again, I work with Liz. She's boss. Um, she bought her because she literally such a ghost ghost you've ever seen. So cute. Oh, no, no. How gorgeous the glasses in here, please. 
Do you know what? They've actually got these in our working over here. I love the way I say it in our work, as if you still work. I know, my old sister say. Yeah. Oh my god, they like sit on the sides. Yeah. Don't you reckon you drink it like pure dribble out? Oh. They have, do you know what as well? They have like the flute ones, you know, like the bottomless ones where like, the drink goes right down to the bottom of the glass. Yeah. Oh, look how shiny they are. I feel like when I get my own house, my glass cupboard mm. is just going to be fabulous. Yes. Yeah. I keep like pure judging the shop against our home sense. I'm like, no, they have better range in our work. Um, I would record it in my work, but I feel like everyone would stop me and talk to me. I know, so, but I will do um, a That's home something. sense come shop with me um, video, but I just don't know when that'll be. Oh, they have gorgeous suitcases over here, actually. Not that I'm going away anytime soon. Flipping out that man coughed before and I ran a mile. But no, the suitcases are gorgeous. Have a day. Um, but yeah, Rachel's going to New York next year and I'm very jealous because I want to go next year too. Are you excited, Rach? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. Oh I have my god. Else. Oh my god. Wow. wow. <laughs> oh my god, they've got Polaroid cameras. Rachel, I really want one. Wow. I know, but I need to get a real camera. <laughs> Not a flame. <laughs> oh, it's 70 pounds. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get no. that. To be fair, TK always have the nicest smellies. Like how gorgeous that. All in perfect colour order. There's genuinely not more satisfying than the colour flow in TK and Home Sense. Like when I do the towel wall and it's also perfect. I just love it. It's just so satisfying and the candle. That's a bit of me. How much is it, Rach? Tell the fans at home. 16 99 That's really good. It is. I half want it, but I'm half trying to be good, but I feel like that'd look really nice. Like, it would look nice with your necklaces. Really nice They've got all the cat kids, the matches. Laura Ashley as well. R.I.P. Laura Ashley. Oh. It's actually quite sad that it's closing I down. I hate when stuff closes down. It makes me sad. <laughs> Oh my god. The mask is off, thank the Lord. Rachel's not used to the mask. Listen, I, I can't, yeah. I have no. to wear a mask every you day in work. You are used to the mask so. life. I am absolutely not. And I, I can't cope with it. The heat, in, the heat is on inside gone. No, literally. However, I'm really not satisfied with my trip because I still can't find my frame. So, TK Maxx need to get one online or our way need to get another one in. I've just said our way again, Rach. Oh wow, I mean, the most antisocial guest slash co-star I've ever had. That's quick. Hello, friend. Right, I'm back at the car. My hair's a mess because it's been raining, so I've ended up with this lovely cow's lick that I am somehow blessed with. Um, oh God. Um, but yeah, I've had a lovely time. I made up, and sadly, I didn't get my frame from TK Maxx, which is guttering because I really do need the third one. So that's really annoying. So I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm not going to get one online anytime soon. So I might have to try another TK Max. But yeah, I need to go and get my tyre sorted now. And it's pouring with rain. So I don't know what I'm going to do, to be honest with you. But I need to go and get it done. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go to Ikea. So yeah, see you in a bit. Oh my God. So I'm at the tyre place now and he's literally lifting me in the car. Can you see that? <laughs> Since I've last been, because I've literally been so many times during lockdown, not much will have changed um, after my last ordeal. So during lockdown, I had a really traumatic experience. Um, it was absolutely chocker and I hated every single second of it. So if you don't already follow my interior page, I mean I've dropped it in here enough. I did an IKEA DIY flower plant, even not flower, plant wall. Um, and these are the plants I used, which are absolutely gorgeous. I use plastic pots, but I'm loving these tin ones you've got at the moment. And I think they're really pretty as well. I went so with they? They're only 85p. How good's that? But they've got so many different ranges of the um, plants in at the moment. So IKEA is very quiet, which is good. Because after last time I came and it was heaving, I had a big trauma. I hated every single second of it. So thankfully, um, it's actually fine. And we've done a few new-ish displays. Um, so yeah, let's have a wander around. 
as I say, we have come. Oh, that's good. Isn't that nice? It's very mod for Ikea. Oh, I also actually just like this room school in general. I feel like as well, when you come to Ikea, I hope you can hear me in this mask, by the way. I feel like when you come to Ikea, you actually, um proper want to move out. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I need a new house. I want to buy all these different things. Oh God, I spoke too soon. There's all the fellas flipping. Sorry, but that is ridiculous. Like, everyone's walking into it. So, I feel like I spoke too soon. Ikea is shocker. They literally just don't limit the numbers at all in different sections. That's their problem. Like, you come in and it's empty, and then as soon as you start going in the other sections, it just goes absolutely shocker. And do you know what's so embarrassing as well? I've never actually filmed, like, full on my face in Ikea, and I feel like everyone's walking past and watching me. Lol. Um, but no, literally no one. See the way they come out? It's socially distanced. I don't care whether you've got a mask on or not. Like, that down to the rules, like, stay away from me. I've been knocking into you on that. It's dead annoying. There's definitely thousands of people in here, and it's a bad joke. Found the one, you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish and I won, yeah, yeah see my ikea haul i bought these clear glass cups and they are gorgeous <laughs> every time i come i want to buy them all they also have like coffee slash hot chocolate cups here as well um which should look really nice matching if you're one of those people that have, to have matching stuff in your cupboard but i'm obsessed with these if you don't have them already then get on them there's the code for you there I absolutely love this room. Um, I've already spoken about this before, but I love like having headboards and they're using big chunky pillows instead, acting like a headboard. I think it's so gorgeous, especially if you've only got like a small wall space instead of taking it up with a huge headboard. Just paint it your favourite colour, add the wood on the background, have a shelf, and have it all the same colour and use your pillows as your standout key piece. Um, these ones are very contrasting, which I love. I just work so well, it's very tranquil um, and I love it. So the queue is all the way down there if you've ever been to Ikea. It is literally all the way down there. You go right and you go down these big aisles. Then you go through there, wrap around and then go to the tills which are like far away over there. It's literally like the wacky races. Sorry for the poor lighting, I've just got back from Ikea. Did not enjoy that at all. It was chocker. I feel genuinely feel like filing a complaint to Ikea. Like, it was ridiculous. No one was socially distant. There was too many people in each department. They should have had cut-off points at each department. But I literally spoke about this straight after lockdown when IKEA first opened, and I thought it was shocking. So I feel like IKEA need to, like, look at the way the system is in place in their IKEA. We went to the one in Warrington, and I've watched other YouTubers go to IKEA. 
in between like say kitchen and bathroom and stuff like that you definitely have person there saying yeah you can go through there's not that many people like people talking on walkie talkies and stuff why aren't people doing that in the one we go to in warrington it's disgusting so it's a joke like i'm fuming anyway we got everything we needed to not exciting but you know it's proper put you in a mood so i'm in a mood over it to be honest with you i just thought it was really bad um but yeah i'm not gonna rant on this because if you follow me over on instagram i think i've dropped the word instagram in this so many times i had a rant um when ikea first opened straight after lockdown because it was that i was that fuming over it to be honest with you so yeah i won't be going back there for a long time i thought it was a disgrace so yeah that's that's that thank you so much for watching my video thanks so much to everyone who subscribed if you haven't please do and make sure you like this video and i'll see you on my next one